Hello and welcome to this segment of Inside Shakeology, your destination for Shakeology news, information, and updates. My name is Sandy Buadana from Team Beachbody. And I'm Darren Oline, the formulator of Shakeology. We're here to answer some of your questions, and today's topic is what is the science behind Shakeology? So here's the question. How does uh, Shakeology work to reduce cravings, increase energy, and improve digestion? Well, I tell you, it's, it's quite simple. If you're eating processed foods all the time and they have less and less nutrients in them, so you're eating all this kind of volume food mm -hmm. and you may be getting the sense of being full, but you're not getting cellularly satisfied, mm -hmm. then your body's gonna keep sending out that craving signal. I could eat a whole bag of Doritos and really in a half an hour, I'll eat a whole nother bag of Oreo cookies. It's not getting you the nutrients you need, and that's really what it comes down to. Is that what you mean by the body not recognizing this, this food type? Absolutely. And responding correctly? And oftentimes, I mentioned this a few other times in different ways, nutrient stress. Uh -huh. So we're making pizzas and burgers and all of this stuff and pastas and all that stuff. It didn't come off of the tree, it didn't come out of the ground. The body, has to deal with that. Right. So that's why we're kind of going back to the tradition, right? So we're going back to these foods that have been consumed for a very long time. We're leaving them alone the best that we can. We're dehydrating them and getting them in a way that the body can receive them in this beautiful bag. And it has all the cofactors that the body needs and then naturally starts shutting off that signal. And you don't feel like you need to start shoveling all this food. That's good to know. So how do the cumulative benefits of Shakeology work? Yeah, good question. I mean, disease is created over time, but also health is created and supported over time. That's why when we say, take your daily dose of dense nutrition, it's not just this sexy phrase. Mm -hmm. This is literally at the core of what creates health. If you're constantly taking in this nutrient-dense food, this cellular, recognizable food, uh -huh. then you're creating the building blocks for your body to have what it needs in order to combat and support your body, you know, having a strong sense of repair and a strong immune system and all these things. So it's a compound effect that I mean, it needs to happen every day. Yeah, exactly. That makes perfect sense. So let's talk about why our bodies need super nutrients. It's a great question. I mean, this could be uh, many reasons. Tell me about super fruits and vitamins that are in Shakeology. Yeah, so, you know, these are fun because these are inherent within the fruits themselves. And we've scoured the earth to find some of the greatest super fruits and like goji berry or camu camu or rose hips. And inherently, they have high amounts of vitamin C and E and A and then and also antioxidants within them. Mm -hmm. This definitely helps support the immune system. It helps to combat free radicals with the antioxidants in those. So we try to get as many of those superfoods in as possible so they can do their thing. Okay, so what phytonutrients do we have and what do they do? Good question. Consider it like micronutrients. If we look at macronutrients, it's carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Micronutrients are those the antioxidants, the carotenoids, the phytonutrients, the antioxidants that help support the body, the chlorophylls, and you, and you have tons of them in things like moringa, uh -huh. right? Or tons of them in spirulina. So phytonutrients are essentially the, the food that fuels the cell. What about adaptogens? I mean, I don't even know what they do. You know the word adapt? Yes. We adapt to life, right? We do the best we can. The plants also as well. And you have things like Shizandra, you have maitake, you have cordyceps. These are some of the greatest herbs. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the adaptogen herbs um, are in severe ecological strain areas. For example, maca. It's at over 15,000 feet. The strain that it takes for that plant to grow develops compounds in that plant that adapt it and strengthen it to survive in that area. Uh -huh. Now, the interesting thing about adaptogens is that when we consume them, it actually helps our body, right? So it can 
help support lowering stress. It can support modulating and supporting the immune system. It can do all of these things to help strengthen our body, lower stressors mm -hmm. in the body. Well, that makes a lot of sense. So the cool thing about adaptogens is they've been used for traditionally for thousands of years. And a lot of that knowledge points us towards the ability that these herbs have to help combat stress that we have in our daily lives. And so we're following tradition by using them in a way that they've been used for thousands of years. That's great, Darren, thank you. So pre and probiotics are in Shakeology. What's their importance there? Yeah, so easy way to explain that is we talk about microbes, we talk about probiotics, we talk about prebiotics. So what does all that mean? You have a whole ecosystem going on inside, certainly your digestive system. You have Microbes, the good bacteria, you have 10 times the amount of microbes than you have human cells, right? I didn't know that. So that's a lot of microbes that work synergistically with us. So a lot of the microbes can get easily swayed and adapt to basically what you're eating. Mm -hmm. By understanding that, we wanted to provide a prebiotics, which is essentially food for the good bacteria that will help digest, and absorb food, um, all of these things help the immune system, help uh, brain health, serotonin, all of these things when you have a healthy digestive system can support. Uh -huh. So it's essentially we're sending in these green berets, the microbes to help our body kind of shift back to that healthy balance of microbes. These things are incredible. So with the prebiotics, we use things that's been used traditionally for a very long time. The Incans used to use it, and that's Yukon root. Mm -hmm. And then when we found these probiotics that were actually stable within the formula, the biggest key of this whole thing is they are proven to actually pass through the digestion and get to where they need to and seed the small intestine and things like that. So that's a very important distinction. Not a lot of probiotics on the market you would be able to use in this way, and we're very proud of that. Interesting. Darren, what about digestive enzymes? How does that work in Shakeology? When your body's off, um, in your kidneys and liver and digestion, you can actually be compromised in developing the digestive enzymes that are important to actually break down food. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the things in starting to formulate Shakeology. I realized, like, listen, where are we compromised and where do we need the support? So by adding in things like cellulase and lactase and invertase, all of these things are different enzymes that help digest certain parts of, of the food that you're taking in. So that was just another bonus that we added into Shakeology to give people that nice foundation so they could actually assimilate the food and actually build a foundation of that very important enzymatic activity. That's great. So in wrapping up, our bodies really need all of these things to run effectively every single day. So any last things you want to say about supernutrients and their importance in Shakeology? Well, we're in this day and age, Sandy, where we are getting hit with stress. Mm -hmm. We have invisible stressors, we have electromagnetic stressors, we have stress in the water that we never had before. We have chemicals in the atmosphere. All of that stuff creates cortisol. All of that stuff creates these stress on the body. So our bodies actually require more of this nutrient density more than ever. True. So the ability to put all of this together, this whole array of antioxidants and phytonutrients and, and minerals and vitamins, we need it. Right. We need it in this day and age. We need all the help we can get. I just want to say that this is really what starts to separate us from anyone else. Thank you so much. Really good information. Yeah. So that's it for this segment of Inside Shakeology. If you have any questions that you'd like us to cover on this podcast, send an email to shakeologypanel at beachbody.com. And tune in next month as we, you know, hit another segment of Inside Shakeology. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.